Hello everyone, Isabella here, as you well know. So today I want to talk to you about your why in life. What is your big why? What gets you out of bed in the morning? What keeps getting you out of bed? What do you want for your future? What's the meaning of life? What's your purpose? What makes you tick? These are a lot of questions that people drift through life never ever answering for themselves. So there's this thing called the seven wise deep tool and you get a problem and you ask yourself, why seven times? Pretty simple. So my problem at the moment is I'm not a billionaire. So why is this a problem for me? Well, as a billionaire, I would be able to make a massive impact on the planet. I would be able to hire the right people to do the right things at the right time to create the right output. Why is this important for you though? Why do you have to be a billionaire? Why can't you do it now as you are? Well, I don't have connections now. I don't have the people around me now. I don't have the vision now and I, I just don't know where to go. I've still not answered the question, why is this important? So this is important because it enables me to leave a positive impact on the planet. But why is this important to you? Why can't you just carry on the way that you are? Why do you have to make a massive positive impact on the planet? Because I want my life to mean something. I don't want to be one of those people that never contributed to the success of the planet, to the environment, to animals, to people. But why is this important? And it's important because I need to have meaning and purpose in my life so I can pass that meaning and purpose on to my children and those people around me and I can have a massive impact on the planet. So you see how we get back to the same caught in a loop. So the, the reason there's seven whys is because we have to go deeper. Otherwise, we'll just be going around in circles. So if we take it deeper, what is the why? Why do you feel the need to make a massive impact on the future? It's not just about purpose. Why do you need your name to mean something in the future to future generations? And it's because I don't want to feel as though my life meant nothing. My existence was nothing. I was just a blob on the landscape and I contributed nothing. Why is this important to you? Because I need to be significant. Because I need meaning and focus and direction in my life. Because I need to help others so they don't feel worthless. So they don't feel trapped so they can become something, become their better self. Why is this important to me? Why do I have to have that impact on other people in the planet? Why? What's the meaning of all this? What's the purpose? What is it? So when you get down further, you start to understand that I need to be in control of my life and my destiny and I need the focus to be on contribution because <clears throat> as humans we have six main human drivers we have significance we have certainty we have variety we have love and connection we have growth and contribution so which two are my main drivers, do you think? I believe they are significance and contribution. So it's very important to me as a human being that I leave my name on the planet and I do it through contribution. And when I get down to the nitty gritty basics of who I actually am, I am somebody that needs to control the amount of impact I have on the pro uh, planet through the deeds that I do every single day. And 
If you take me back to when I was a child, I was 10 years old scraping pop bottles, um, the labels of pop bottles, collecting the labels for the WWF um, Save the Panda Fund. I raised £300 at the age of 10. By the age of 14, I'm collecting money for Save the Children. By the age of 16, I'm chain chaining myself to army barracks, protesting against nuclear weapons. 16, I join Amnesty International. I join Greenpeace. 18, I'm subscribed to World Vision. I'm supporting families in Honduras and Cambodia. By the time I'm 25, I'm supporting local charities. I'm supporting Bono's Free the Third World Debt. I collected 30,000 signatures for that when I got to 33. Still a member of Greenpeace, still a member of Amnesty International. I'm working towards helping people, asylum seekers, who are fleeing horrendous war zones. I'm helping them become stable families in the UK. Now, aside of this, were all the animal charities that I needed to help because I like to stand up for the underdog. I can't deal with something horrible happening to children or animals. My psyche just doesn't let it. And I need this why, this purpose in life, this getting up in the middle of the night I need this, I need this focus and this concentration to provide significance and contribution in a positive way that helps children and helps animals. That's my why. I need to be the figurehead for those people. I need to be able to positively affect their lives. I need to be able to go down in flames. I need to be able to be part of history. When people talk about animals, when they talk about children, they talk about all the good things that people did. I want to be down there with Mother Teresa. I know she did a lot of bad things. But she did a lot of good things too. I want to be down there. I want to be one of those names. Now that is about significance. Contribution is about helping the kids and the animals. And obviously falling into helping the planet, that just comes naturally. Now, one of the ways I've chosen to do it is by being a health coach and a marketer. And one of the ways I'm choosing to do it in the future is by helping workplaces help their employees to gain a balanced life. Because when you spend 95,000 hours on average at work, it affects your home life. It affects your kids and they go on to be the next generation. Now we need to provide them with the best of everything. And that means that workplace wellness has to come into play somewhere. And workplace wellness is not just about a bowl of fruit, a Headspace app and a gym membership. No, it's much more than that. It's about weaving the wellness into the fabric of every organization, making every leader able to support their teams in a positive way. Teaching people the good aspects of leadership, the good aspects of teamwork, and the good aspects of how corporations can run. So they can save the planet, so they can save children, so they can save animals, families, the community, and drive their profits upwards at the same time. Now, my why is because I need to contribute significantly on my own terms. I need that control, I need to be significant, and I need to contribute. So when you're thinking about what your seven whys are, what gets you up in the morning, what you really want out of life, think about it at a deeper, deeper level. Because if you just go through the motions and just keep answering why, 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 you're not gonna get very far. So this is an amazing tool. It's a tool we all should do. We all should do it regularly because we change over time. We change who we are over time. If you'd have asked me to do this a year ago, which I did do it a year ago, I believed a year ago that my sole purpose was just to save animals. 
But it isn't. It's to save children too. It's to save the world. It's to save humans, every one of us. And it's to save them through health and well-being because that's what I know. That's how I function. And that's what's going to get us all from A to B. Now, this is me being real with you today. I want you to leave your comments below, positive ones, obviously, because we don't do negative. And I want you to tell me what your why is, what gets you up in the morning, what makes you tick, what makes you want to leave your mark on the planet. What is it? What is it that's driving you? So until next time, stay positive and thrive.